Hi guys, for this week's video I've invited Antal Salai. He's a concert violinist and one of my favorite Bach solo work interpreters. I'm honored to work with him inside my Bach course and community. And in this video he is going to speak about why all violin players should study Bach solo works daily. Now if you are completely new to Bach's sonatas and partitas for solo violin, uh, you might be wondering what are they? Now there are three sonatas and three partitas. The sonatas each have four movements and the partitas have dance form movements. The difficulty level is very different per movement so there are relatively accessible movements that can even be played all in first position, like the bourree and the gique from the third partita. And there are very difficult movements like the chacon and very long and complex fugues that are considered the most difficult works ever written for the violin. If you're anywhere serious about learning the violin, then I really recommend studying the Bach solo works, whatever level you're at. But let's hear it from Antal. There is no top, there are always farther heights to reach. This sentence, said by the great 20th century violinist Jascha Heifetz, comes to my mind first when I try to answer the question why every violinist should study Bach daily. There is also another great 20th century musician, the composer Leo Weiner, comes to my mind in connection with this question. He was a legendary chamber music professor of the Franz Liszt Academy in Budapest, teaching generations of great Hungarian musicians, including George Scholti, Antal Dorati, Tibor Varga, Janos Tarker, Sándor Weg, the Bartók String Quartet, and hundreds of others. He was a strict and demanding teacher who insisted on his students to bring out the best of themselves. He used to say, even if you bring out the best of yourself, it's still not good enough. While it sounds a self-torturing attitude, in the same time, let's try to answer the question, who is good enough to play the Bach Chacon? Who can say that he fully understands every bar of it? Bach was an eternal genius and we should play his works daily for our continuous and lifelong development as a musician and person. As my late teacher Peter Komlos used to say, to develop as a musician is something one can stop but finish never. Bach has been providing inspiration to every musician for centuries and several composers from Mendelssohn to Béla Bartók. One specific work, the Sonata for Solo Violin by Béla Bartók, is a 20th century continu continuation of the Bach violin sonatas and partitas, and is one of the greatest masterpieces written for solo violin in the 20th century. To me, Bach's works represent the perfect balance between intellect and emotion, and we should practice them daily to get daily inspiration and intellectual and emotional energy from his works. In the same time, in a simply technical aspect, these pieces are very demanding. Several movements are as technically difficult as anything written by Paganini. To grow as a musician, practicing Bach's music is perfect and why should we waste any days in growing as a musician? The legendary cellist Pablo Casals was asked why he continued to practice at age 90. His answer was, because I think I'm making progress. Now they are solo works, but that doesn't mean that you have to study them all alone. Join my Bach online course and community with video lessons by Antal and personal feedback and guidance by me. I've got a great Bach to school offer this August and you really don't want to miss this. Follow this link and you'll get a great discount 
Plus, you'll get the possibility to add my course about Vivaldi for Seasons at a discounted rate. Now, I'd love to see you inside my community of bark-loving, like-minded violinists. Bye-bye.